Hello financial fans, another week gone by and not a lot of change in the market. My uh, current position as far as year to date, my performance versus uh, S&P 500, the S&P 500 is down 16.1, we'll just make it 16% for the year and I am down 11.06, 11 percent for the year. So neither of us are um, having a great year. We're both having bad years and uh, still some bargains out there, I think. There's always something that's going to double in value in the next 12 months and always something that's going to lose half of its value in the next 12 months. And uh, I've been looking at some stocks here and uh, some, some things look like they're a little bit oversold and they uh, might be bargain priced issues. Uh, we'll begin by looking at, I guess this is pronounced Shemur's company, CC is the symbol, CC, $35.59 was the closing price on Friday, by the way, this is uh, July 30th of 2022, and after hours, uh, the stock CC, the symbol, has gone down to $35.96. I guess that would be up to $35.96. And in the column on the left, two-thirds of the way down, 52-week range, you see that it was as low as $22.56 per share and as high as $44.95 per share. So it's in the middle there and it could uh, go in either direction and uh, uh, it might try to seek its uh, high level again, test the highs. Average volume, about 1.8 million shares trade every day, and this stock is considered to be near fair value. P.E. ratio, third item down the middle column, P.E. ratio 7.98, anything under 10 is uh, very nice. The forward dividend and yield, uh, slightly less than 3%, 2.87% is what you get for holding on to the stock, so not a lot. But uh, the earnings per share, $4.46, uh, that's pretty good for uh, the uh, dividend of $1, isn't uh, hurting the earnings uh, at all. One year target price on CC, $42.90, so that would be a very good move in the right direction. Next we look at Echo Petrol, uh, EC is the symbol. And the closing price on Friday, $10.74, and uh, it stays at $10.74 per share after hours. Uh, 52 week range, $9.31 was the low, so we're near the low, and the high for the past 52 weeks, $19.81, and the average volume is a little over 1.5 million shares. Uh, almost 1.7 million shares and this, this stock is considered to be under value and it certainly looks that way. PE ratio 5.21 that is very low and low is good for PE ratio the forward dividend and yield. $1.49 is what they're giving you and that comes out to 14.65 percent that's an incredibly high yield and uh, the earnings still cover that uh, forward dividend. One year target, $17.16, that would be a very excellent uh, move upward if that happens. Next we look at PXD, Pioneer Natural Resources Company, $236.95 was the closing price on Friday and then it went up another dollar five to $238 per share for PXD, the 52-week range, $137.54, so it was about $100 cheaper uh, at some time in the past 52 weeks. And the 52-week uh, uh, range high was $288.46, so it's got some headroom there. So it uh, might be seeking its uh, 52 week high again might be testing that uh, high. Average volume 2,722,000 
shares trade every day and this stock of course is considered to be undervalued. P ratio third item down middle column 14.11 that's higher than I usually like but 14 is still a low and very sensible P.E. ratio. Earnings per share $16.79 and the forward dividend $12.34 which comes out to 5.21% which is a good dividend. Not enough to keep up with inflation but uh, none of us can do that. Uh, one year target estimate $294.67 so that uh, again would be a very nice move. The uh, last stock we'll look at today Royal Bank of Canada, RY, is the symbol, and it closed $97.51 and then went on up to $97.80 after hours. The 52-week range, $90.75 to $119.41, so it's uh, tucked right there in the middle, somewhere between the high and the low. Average volume, a little over a million shares trade every day, and this stock is considered to be near fair value. P.E. ratio, slightly over 10, 10.93, almost 11. The forward dividend and yield, $3.98, which comes out to slightly over 4% that the stock is paying. And the one-year target, $113. That would be a nice move upwards, $113.40. And I thank you very much for watching.